Today I'm bringing out my uh, Remington uh, Model 7 uh, Varmint Rifle that I got a little while ago, probably about a month and a half ago, did a quick uh, unboxing review. Uh, it is in 223. I'm going to be using it for, hopefully, for groundhogs and crows and things like that in the uh, summer and springtime and early fall as a, uh, basically as a practice for while I'm actually uh, getting ready for uh, hunting season for deer season. So I've got a Leopold uh, VX1 uh, 2-7 power scope on it uh, by 33. Uh, brand new scope I got, a very good deal from Optics Planet. Got Leopold rings on it uh, that seem like a very nice uh, setup there. And uh, this is in Mossy Oak Brush. I also have some Mossy Oak Brush um, skins, they call it, which I'm going to be putting on this later on. But I figured I'd take this out now and actually see how accurate it is. And you can have a close-up look there of the uh, mounts. Um, I like the Leopold mounts. I just think they're a nice solid mount. So what I brought out to the range today was, uh, to get it on target, I have some American Eagle, uh, which is actually a military uh, type um, round. I believe it's actually made in uh, Lake City, is marked on it. And then I also have uh, some reloads here. I bought some uh, Horn ND 55 grain uh, soft points a long time ago, which should work okay for varmints. Uh, and that's what I'm going to start off with. And I have IMR 4895, I believe, in there, and 24 grains of that. So we'll see how that runs today. So, let me just get set up here and we'll do some shooting. Alrighty, so, got it bore sighted in. Let's put one cartridge in. I'm just going to do um, three cartridges to start. These are literally my first three shots with this rifle. Get it loaded in here. It's got a spacer block in the back, so you got to push ahead of that. So, we'll see where I'm at on the bore sighting. Let's see, we'll set this at... Let's do it at six power, five power actually. And see where we go with it, with our shooting. And we'll make our adjustments. I think I'm off to the right. I'm gonna do a couple rounds here, just to make sure. I'm throwing my brass into the water over there. See what we got. Yep, just off to the right. Yeah. Two shots are about an inch apart, and the other one I opened up, probably just me pulling it. So I'm going to see about uh, getting it moved over, and then we'll shoot a few more shots. All right then, I've got it on the uh, bullseye. Um, so I'm just going to take a, a couple more shots here uh, for today. My uh, reloads here are a little bit tough to get in, so I'm thinking it's because of the military brass that's been run through an AR-15 uh, style rifle. So um, I'm going to kind of go back to the drawing board, probably get some Winchester or Remington brass, uh, commercial brass, and start using that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, last group I had here is right around an inch, um, so we'll see what we get with this one. And I've got three uh, cartridges in there, and let's just do a little more shooting. Oh, we got some time here to have some fun. The trigger's pretty nice. I think um, uh, probably about five pounds or so. I'm sure actually that a lot of people would say that it's too heavy. We'll see, I think this is an adjustable trigger, so I might bump it down a little bit. I'm not really a fan of really light triggers. A little bit of a mirage there with my uh, barrel heating up some. Um, it's a uh, Magnum Contour barrel is what it says in the catalog. And also has some flutes in it that you really can't see from that angle just because of the uh, camouflage on there. So let me see what I got with that. Yeah, right around an inch for that too. So um, so that's Remington Model 7 for today. I'm gonna bring it out again and um, I think I might have to take the scope off to put on those um, the mossy oak skins on there. So once I do that, I'm gonna come out, uh, probably get some other reloads. I'll shoot these off. Um, don't have any signs of overpressure on them. So I think there's just something going on there with the, uh, the military style brass and having run it through the AR-15. So uh, I'm gonna go down and have a quick look at the targets. 
I thank you for watching and subscribe and out. So here we are up at the uh, backstop, if you can see it here. This here is my last group right across here. So that's uh, probably about three quarters of an inch. And all of this here, I'm just all over the place because I'm trying to uh, get the scope on there. This is my next to the last one. And I had said it was about an inch. It's probably about an inch and a quarter. So um, looks like it has a lot of promise uh, for this rifle. And uh, I'll just uh, have to see how we do. I'm gonna work on getting a uh, hand load for it. The um, I ended up, I think there was about a, uh, probably about a two inch difference elevation between the uh, Lake City Federal uh, factory loads and my reloads. So I was a little uh, surprised at that, but um, well, we'll see, we'll see. Um, once I get my scope skins on there, we wanna get it dialed in so that this is the group that I get every time. That three shot group, this one here is during the sighting in process. And uh, we'll see. All right, I think I already said uh, goodbye, so we'll say goodbye again. All right, take care, and out.